Hi, Prabhu here. Welcome to part 3. So in this tutorial, you learned about how to model this keyhole. So in this tutorial, uh, you learn how to maintain uh, edge loop and edge flows. And how to make a separate object and bridge them together. So before you getting started part 3, you need to learn part 2, the link in the description box. Please uh, go over there, learn part 2 and come here. So before we started, you want to download the reference image for this project, the link in the description box. After you download, you got this. In this part, you learn how to model this keyhole. So, in this model, you at least uh, want to maintain one, two, three edge loops and one hole. So, the basic shape of the uh, keyhole is uh, cylinder shape. So, go to Maya and go to uh, Create Panel and Polygon Primitives. Disable the interactive creation. So, that means uh, when I click on Poly cylinder so it will automatically created in center of grid so m make sure uh, go to poly inputs in channel box and layer editor go to poly cylinder inputs and choose subdivisions access to 8 and press enter and choose subdivision caps to 2 and press enter so go to face mode so select this bottom faces all bottom faces except top and press delete in keyboard uh, that means the bottom face will skip out so go to object mode so see here uh, the pivot is in center of grid i want the pivot in center of object so go to object mode and choose modify and choose center pivot so that means uh, my pivot is transferred to uh, center of object so see here the object is in uh, top of the grid so i want to snap it to snap into the grid so hold the x in keyboard and hold the middle mouse button so you will drag it out uh, to snap the grid points so i want to snap exactly in the center of the grid and uh, release it okay so go to edge mode so double click on this edge the edge will automatically loop so press r and make sure you want to scale in middle don't go this way like this so it's wrong so i want to uh, maintain this proportion so i will scale in middle so like this so select this edge so and shift select this edge so and press w uh, go to edit mesh and choose um, extrude so and press w and uh, move it uh, over to this uh, is it axis so you want to make sure uh, the x axis in this direction so like this x in this direction y in this direction and bottom so like this so I want to move the model little bit uh, go to object mode so I will move upwards little bit like this so I want to um, I want the edge flow uh, flow this way so go to edit mesh and choose insert edge loop so this way and this way so and this way so that means uh, you got this face so but see here we got the uh, the edge stops here so I want make sure uh, so delete this edge so select this edge and select this edge and go to edit mesh and choose delete edge by vertex so that means the edge will skip out so like this so I want to uh, snap this vertex to this side so go to edit mesh and choose uh, merge vertex tool so click here and drag here 
so same here click here and drag here and you make sure want to delete this edge this edge and shift select this edge and go to edit mesh and choose delete edge by vertex so that means the edge will clear so so when I double click on this edge the mesh flow will automatically loop this way so see here uh, we have same problem here so go to edit mesh and choose uh, interactive split tool if you are using a latest version choose multi cut tool so in this case uh, I choose interactive split tool click this edge and drag all the way up so and click this edge and drag away all the way this side and right click to stop the tool so same here click here and drag upwards so click here and drag downwards and right click to stop the edge so I want to clear these two edge select this edge shift select this edge and go to edit mesh and choose delete edge by vertex same thing here select this edge select this edge so go to edit mesh and choose delete edge by vertex so it will automatically flows in this direction so um, so select this face select this faces here and here so that uh, sorry go to object mode so see here we want to uh, maintain some edge loops here because uh, we got lot of space here so go to edit mesh and choose insert edge loop so I want here so here and here so three edges like this so see here um, we got zigzag edges so I double click on this edge to select the edge loop and press R so I will scale in Z like this so see here the edge will automatically clear out so and press W and move Z move in Z so the edge will maintain in the grid center of the grid so double click on this edge I will move little bit upwards so double click on this edge I will move little bit upwards so so now we got that uh, even number of segments all the way to so select the center faces select the all center faces so select only the center faces and press delete in keyboard sorry so I so only center faces and delete it so that means we got the basic shape of the keyhole so you want to see here in reference image we want to maintain here sharpness so um, so go to edit mesh and choose insert edge loop so here and here so that means this edge will be sharp so same thing here and here so this edge will be also sharp so go to object mode so uh, we want to connect with the poly pipe so go to uh, so and choose poly pipe so it will automatically created so uh, scale uh, in R sorry uh, go to poly pipe inputs so go to inputs poly pipe 1 go to subdivision access to so before we create poly cube so I will delete the poly pipe we want to count this um, vertex so see here 1 2 sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 uh, vertex in this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 vertex in this uh, object so you make sure uh, choose poly pipe and go to uh, poly pipe inputs 
so in channel box on layer editor and choose subdivisions access to 20 so that means it will uh, connect with that object so and increase the radius so like this so increase the radius so click here and hold middle mouse uh, in sideways so it will uh, increase the radius so I want like this so little bit so I will give uh, 3 sorry 3.7 so we created the poly pipe so um, select the bottom faces so only the bottom face and delete in keyboard so go to object mode so see here uh, the poly pipe is in uh, top of the grid so and the pivot also in the uh, bottom of the grid so go to object mode and choose modify center pivot to make sure the pivot in center of the object so press uh, hold X in keyboard and hold middle mouse and drag uh, all the way to snap the uh, points in the grid so I want to make sure in center of the grid so I will snap in center that means the both object in the same uh, grid plane see here so select this uh, double click on this edge and go to edit mesh and choose extrude and press R and scale in uh, middle so like this little bit so then go to object mode so select select this object I will move little bit upwards see here uh, we I have this distance uh, here and here is a little bit vary so I will go to object mode I will move little bit upwards to uh, maintain the even space in top and bottom of the keyhole so I select this object and shift select this object go to edit mesh sorry mesh and choose combine so that means both objects are combined so select this double click on this edge double click on shift to double click on this edge and go to um, edit mesh and choose bridge bridge so it will connect but sometimes it will collapse so don't uh, bother about that so go to poly um, bridge uh, inputs so I increase the bridge offset so click here and middle mouse drag so it will rotate like this so see uh, it will clear with bridge offset so it will automatically clear so we got that basic shapes so go to uh, edge mode so double click on this edge and shift double click on this edge uh, go to edit mesh and choose extrude and press W and move downwards to extend that edge up all the way down so go to the reference image so see here uh, in this part we have little bit bulginess so go to um, edit mesh and choose insert edge loop so click here in middle so we got that edge loop so with the edge loop selected so go press W and move little bit upwards in Y so with the edge loop selected go to edit mesh and choose bevel so increase the uh, bevel segments to 3 so I will give 3 so I increase the offset so click here and middle mouse and drag uh, so it will adjust so if you are using a latest version so please adjust the fraction value so I will adjust like this so to maintain even distance so and we want to uh, adjust this little bit this way so go to vertex mode so I select all these vertex so I will select only this vertex don't select other than this so I will scale in uh, I press R and scale in X 
so like like this so that means you got that a little bit thinner so now you want to insert edge loop to this corner to maintain sharpness so go to edit mesh and choose insert edge loop so you insert edge loop here and here so that means you maintain this corner uh, sharpness so and then uh, you want to maintain this edge sharpness so click here and drag all the way close to that edge so and then you want to maintain the edge sharpness here so go to object mode so press 3 in keyboard so that means you got the uh, basic shape uh, got the perfect shape of the keyhole so this is our uh, final model so please check uh, check the loops so I will double click here so I will double click here so I will double click shift double click here so that means we maintain three edge loops so as shown in that uh, reference image I we make sure uh, maintain one keyhole here okay so that's it so uh, we finish uh, the third part so in next uh, in part 4 you learn how to make this uh, lock um, so here we want to uh, maintain number of loop and holes so thank you for watching guys uh, we will see you later on part 4 so please subscribe uh, if you have any doubts on clarification, please contact to my email that in the description box. So if you have any doubt about modeling, please send your reference image to my email. So I will make tutorial for you. So we will see on part 4.